life is a constant struggle for Palestinians living in the West Bank. Separated from family living in Israel, Gaza, or further abroad, many also have their land confiscated by the Israeli authorities. Sometimes this land is used to build Israeli settlements, which are illegal under international law. Others cannot reach their land to work it because of Israeli restrictions on movement, which include checkpoints and the separation wall. Palestinians are rarely granted permission to build new structures as part of their homes or for agricultural purposes. If they build anyway, their structures are likely to be demolished. It is in this context that the International Christian Committee, or ICC, is working. We uh, translate our Christian teaching, our Christian values, we translate, uh, translate that into uh, action. So we are living our uh, Bible by uh, taking care of the people, by attending to them, by giving the, a voice to the voiceless, by uh, being there for them in their times, times of need and despair and uh, hopelessness. Across the West Bank, the ICC has developed a food security program specifically for families who have lost land or property due to the Israeli occupation and illegal settlements. Families like the Ayub family, who have four children and elderly parents living with them. The first problem is the water. Secondly, we can't go to our land. Thirdly, we are very close to Israeli settlement. Recently, they confiscated hundreds of thousands of acres of land in the western area. They're preparing to incorporate these lands into the settlement. Now, if you want to go to your olive groves, you need a permit. The Ayub family live in Jin Safut a village of 3,500 people surrounded on three sides by Israeli settlements. There is only one road to enter or exit the village. If the Israeli military blocks it, as sometimes happens, there is no way in or out. Ibtissam Mustafaid also lives in Jin Safut. She's a single mother whose husband was killed on his way to Nablus to sell herbs. Through the ICC's project, these families and others like them receive training and support. One year we plant vegetables, tomatoes, zucchini. The next we plant different types of grains. We alternate from year to year. We profit from it, thank God. And we have olives, which we use to make olive oil in the house. The Ayub family is also looking forward to using their produce to sustain themselves. The project helps us. We can make yogurt and cheese. We have small children, so we need eggs. We used to have to buy those, now we will have them it reduces the burden. The supplies and training that the ICC provides enable a food insecure family to become self-sufficient. This peaceful resistance against oppression and occupation brings hope and vitality to Palestinian families in the region. Your gifts to the mission and service of the United Church help make these programs possible. Thank you, and please continue to give. <laughs>